Alright, so I bought some squat shoes. Debating on how to pronounce this word. I think it's Romelio's. Some people say it's Romelo's, but basically we got some new squat shoes. We're on the way to the gym. We're gonna be hitting a PR squat today. I can already feel it. I can feel it in my fingers. I can feel it in my toes. I can feel it in my kneecaps that are probably about to snap. But what's going on, guys? Brandon Harding here. Hope you're having a great day. We're about five minutes away from downtown Lexington right now. About to commence into a leg workout the time is about five o'clock right now a little bit of a later session in the day we have been training quite early which i've kind of liked because i haven't had to like build up the motivation to work out on the night time not that i need motivation to work out anyway it's just kind of nice to get a workout done earlier on in the day but regardless we have these to test out today the new remelios the remelios three never owned a pair of squat shoes before but i thought if i'm going to be concentrating on my compound lifts squat being the primary lift i feel like it was time to get some squat shoes i did order a belt as well that hasn't come in yet, but hopefully they have a belt in the gym lying around for me to use. Ramallos, Romelios, Ramallos. Fuck it, let's squat shoes. Doesn't really matter, I'm gonna get roasted either way. What are you training? Legs, Legs as well? Not really sure I wanna do yet, but. <laughs> this is already one of them workouts I'm already like really excited about. Because one, I'm really excited to train legs regardless, even if we don't feel that good about getting a PR. It's gonna be a good time. Pre workout has been made. Brittany found one of my old BPO Sport shakers because the shaker that I bought in the last video, the UK shaker, I actually left it in the gym yesterday and I can't find it anyway. So we're stuck with the old shaker. It's probably got like radiation coming out of the shaker, but even still, it will have to do for now. But the pre workout we have gone for today is the Ghost Legend Sour Green Apple Warheads. Probably won't need the pump product because I have these badass protein pancakes with like 85 carb before the workout so it won't need that my legs are not going to struggle to get a pump so this should do for today's workout and as far as these squat shoes these are what they are looking like honestly i think they look freaking sick and i've got this sick strap to tighten around the arch of the foot obviously for stability the heel is a little bit raised to stop your heels from caving in i mean if you've got good knee control and flexibility you shouldn't struggle with that anyway but i don't so i kind of need these another thing you can do to stop your knees caving in and to stop your heels raising off the ground when squatting as well warming up like you can increase your flexibility by just starting off with 10 minutes of stretches which i'm going to do in a second we just started the workout off with some seated carb raise i don't think they have a standing carb raise which is like quite disappointing because i love carb work when my legs are fully extended without a bend in my knee i always feel like i get a better pump we're gonna do two more sets of the seated carb raise before moving on to the abductor and adductors to warm up my hip flexors and to just prepare for what is about to come it's gonna be nasty Now it's getting to the difficult point because depending on how I perform on four plates is an indication to how I'm feeling for the day because either this goes up really easy or it doesn't go up at all. If it goes up easy, I'm gonna go five plates. See where we can go past there. My current PR is 230 kilo. Feeling pretty good about that four plates. Now we've got five plates on the bar, this. Brittany in the background. This is when shit gets difficult. I've literally only ever done this a handful of times, so I'm praying that these shoes <laughs> are the edge I need. What do you think? Will we be proud of me if I get this? Like, it, it doesn't matter if I can squat five plates to you, but to me, it's everything. It doesn't matter to you if I can squat a plate. I am proud of you when you like hit certain lifts. So when you hit when you hit one plate for the first time, that was I'm sick. Empathy. Yeah, that's not the right word. I don't have empathy. No, you don't. But I can feel pr I can feel pride. Why was that so much heavier than I thought it was gonna be? How the shit 
have I lifted 230 kilo before? We have a lot more work to do than I actually thought. I am 10 pound lighter than I was when I did hit the PR, but if Max Tuning was here, he would probably have a lot to say about that considering he's stronger than me and a lot lighter than me, so that's no excuse. Also, this is my first time actually squatting this heavy without a belt. They don't actually have one in the gym. I was praying on the fact that they would have one, but I ordered an Inza belt about four days ago and I thought that it would be here today for this session. I guess it was kind of stupid of me trying to squat this much weight without the protection because squatting in general is quite dangerous and I almost had like a little bit of an ab cramp as I was trying to push back up like my core was trying so hard to keep my back straight. I'm not sure if that's what it's meant to feel like when you're about to get a hernia. I've never had one before and I'm praying that I don't. Will not be trying that again without a belt. I just was so amped today. I was so excited to like try and hit a PR but I'm a lot weaker than I thought I was but we're going to make up for it with the rest of the workout. We're going to rep out on 100 kilo now, do two sets of as many reps as possible and then do the isolation shit. Workout complete. It consisted of about eight exercises, so I'm really happy about the, what's the word, variety of this workout. I'm really happy about it. I also have some really good news. Apparently the people at this gym are really nice and someone handed in my shaker. It wasn't lost. Super happy with how the workout went. A little bit gutted about the fact that I was nowhere near my PR. Couldn't get five plates up. It gives us something to work towards in the coming weeks. Just sat outside the front of the gym waiting for Brittany to come and pick me up. She ended up leaving the gym a little bit earlier than me because I need a little bit longer in the gym and she was finished like halfway through my workout, so she headed back. We only live about about five minutes away from the gym anyway so getting here is not an issue downtown lexington where the gym is based is freaking beautiful like this is in such a good area this is my current view we got this big ass building right here it's pretty sick we got bars and restaurants down there this is the multi-story car park where the gym is based it's funny how when i previously thought of kentucky and what it would be like i was thinking like really open spaces kind of like the uk where i grew up in redditch and bromsgrove farmland horses pigs cows everywhere downtown lexington has actually surprised me like there's actually quite a lot to do come on Brittany. I'm literally turning catabolic. That leg workout has literally sucked all the energy out of my body and it's currently in my quads. All right, so by the way, <laughs> this car is that freaking old that you have to do the window up with one of these things. Why? <laughs> okay, don't put that in there. Why? No. Why not? No, it's hilarious. It's a good car. It's not old, it's two years old. 2017. My car is older than this and it still has electric windows. Leave this car alone. Just received probably the best news of today. Brittany's mom has made dinner and it's she's made chicken marsala. It's not masala, it's not Indian, oh. marsala. <laughs> it's like a mushroom based sauce on the chicken. You're gonna love it. Home grown southern woman cooking. This is all I came to America for. I'm not even here for Brittany, I'm literally here for her mum and cooking. I definitely had to finish that sentence off. So here we have it, the post-workout meal. There's even a little bit of pasta with it as well. I don't know what the macros are. I don't even care. I'm just gonna eat it. But this is post-workout meal number one. Post-workout meal number two is also gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be cinnamon toast crunch with the cinnamon cereal milk protein. Let's get one scoop of the cereal milk protein. I'm gonna like guess this, like how much more my cereal need? If I don't use it for the cereal, I'll just drink it. Holy shit. This is what you want post workout. <laughs> Gonna be an eating video now. Do an extreme close up. No, it's not even bright. I just look really shit. I just look really tired. We are like half an hour ago. In about 20 minutes, we're going to be leaving for the gym for an early morning workout. And we have a meeting with the owner of Proof Fitness. Don't need to go into details. Obviously, the guy just wants to know why we're recording in his gym. They're actually really nice people there. But I guess the owner just wants to know we're not slandering his club online. This is what is currently going down in the kitchen. We're making an omelette. We have some mixed vegetables, spinach, mushroom, and tomato. We're going to add three whole eggs and three egg whites to make six eggs in total. And it's seasoned with a seasonal been using lately it's pretty sick it is roasted garlic and herb never used it before but it's probably one of my favorites 
this is what it's looking like. We had to put it in Tupperware because we actually have to leave for the gym because we will be late for the meeting otherwise. But as you can see, we have some barbecue sauce drizzled over the top, but not to worry. It's the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce original. While we were shopping yesterday, we were trying really, really hard to find low calorie syrups and we ended up finding that one. Never used the brand G Hughes before, but apparently it's a big brand in America. So I'm excited to try this. We also got the honey mustard as well, as well as some zero calorie syrup for some protein pancakes that we're going to be making post-workout. Brittany's been having protein pancakes for years now and the ones I made yesterday were apparently the best she's ever had. I haven't had them that much, so I don't know how good they're meant to taste, but the ones I did make were pretty freaking good. Maybe I'll share it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Maybe it's one for me. And we'll see. But the gym bag is packed. We've got two of the new Aspire pieces that we're going to be shooting today. It actually launches in like half an hour, so hopefully we have enough time to shoot this before the meeting. Alphalete also sent these stickers that I've stuck on top of my Mac. I've got the barcode logo, learn more, dream more, be more. And we got some more here as well for Brittany if she wants them. Are the stickers available on the website? Not too sure if the stickers are available on the website, but I think they're pretty sick. Just spent the past half an hour running around trying to get pictures for the Aspire launch, which literally just went live. They're releasing a t-shirt, cutoffs, and long sleeves. These are the pictures that we just got and that I just posted on Instagram. And yes, they did release the stickers as well. There's gonna be a link in the description if you wanna pick up some fresh ass shit. I'm gonna stick some weight on this bitch. And in regards to how the meeting with that guy went, he was actually pretty sound and he just wanted to know that if we take any pictures in the gym, that he is allowed to post them. That's cool. So we're allowed to record with sweet. Right now, I'm gonna get on with the rest of the workout, probably off camera, because I really wanna dig deep with this workout. So I'll probably see you guys again at home before we make the protein pancakes. Scrapping off the protein pancakes because ended up picking up Panera, got two barbecue chicken flatbreads. I may have got an oatmeal and raisin cookie and I may have eaten it in the car on the way back. And yes, it was glorious. I'm gonna save the protein pancake recipe because I'm gonna tell you what it is. I've decided that you guys need to be blessed with these protein pancakes. I'm gonna be starting the next video off with the recipe. So you got that to look out for. You got that to look forward to. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, by the way, see this facial hair? I asked on Instagram whether you think I should like grow it out should I like attempt to grow a beard because I've never done it before I'm gonna do it for a week this is two days worth by the way this is two days we're gonna see what we can do in a week and then come Sunday if I don't like it I'm gonna shave it off if I do like it we're gonna continue the growth I don't know I never had one before so we're gonna see how it looks Brittany's gonna hate it because she hates like the roughness but if you I did it wrong and you're naked oh my, my arms aching that was a hard workout if you haven't already join the Don squad please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace